Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech was probably his most famous, but it was far from the only one, maybe not even his best. Dr. King spoke out against injustice everywhere that he saw it, not just in terms of racial segregation, but capitalism, militarism, imperialism. He died while planning the Poor People's March, where he was to lead thousands of poor Americans, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, all of them, to Washington, D.C. to demand economic justice. He believed in nonviolence and radical pacifism. So why can't we get his legacy right? Here to discuss it with me is Christopher Chambers. Moments and his faults. But why is it, I mean, uh, you know, there's so much uh, attention obviously is given to his fight for civil rights, for, uh, you know, racial justice. But what about the fact that he also railed on against the Vietnam War? Right. That he really, uh, you know, railed on against capitalism. He really fought for economic justice. Exactly. How come that's the part of his legacy that kind of trickles off and gets forgotten? Well, that doesn't most? quite fit in. I mean, you know, when he went to Chicago for a poor people's march there and for jobs and things like that, and he was roundly attacked by working class white people uh, yes, a flesh and blood one right. exactly a real one i'm sure that he would be railing against bailing out wall street i'm sure he'd be railing against you yeah. know our endless wars and uh you know america needs that kind of a leader Definitely. again chris thanks so much for being Thank here you.